First guest, former World Series of Fighting champion, now making his return to the PFL family on Friday in a fight that is uh, seven years in the making. My old friend Marlon, where have you been, miss Marlon? You. I miss you. How are you? Come, give me a hug, Marlon. How are you, my friend? So good to see you, my friend. You too, man. You're the man. My Thank pleasure you so much. to be here. Yes, Again. remember you were here many years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, long time ago, Marlon. man. Long oh, that's time. That's a nice jacket. Day. Like I like it? that jacket, Henzo, Henzo Gracie. Yeah. I love it. Welcome, my friend. Come, please come in. New York City. Yes. You know, New you're York back. City. That's right. Atmosphere. Now Henzo you're a Florida Gracie. guy. Yes. Are you much happier in Florida than you are here? No, I'm, I'm, I was really happy here as well. But at this point, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy with my family and everything with training. Yes. Life is good, you know. My gosh, Thanks a lot of questions. Playing. So great to see you back. You're fighting on Friday in Shame and Marias. It was supposed to be Shane Burgos. Unfortunately, yes. he got hurt. So now it's a rematch of a fight. But uh, that feels almost like secondary because back in April, you announced your retirement yeah. from MMA. And then you came back and you signed with PFL. So could I ask you in April, why did you retire? Man, I just I just was, wasn't feeling anymore, you know, in the UFC. And things were not going my way. And I, I just lost the motivation after the fight. I, I, I'm always a hard work guy. I train hard for every single fight. And things were not just going my way, you know, and I just couldn't see um, anything different than a time. I need some time. I need some time with my family. I need some time with myself. I need to see everything that I've, I've done in my career. And this was important for me, that time. And man, I'm, I'm here. I'm young. I still got a lot left in me, and the 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 thing, the click that I need, that was this this opportunity to compete with the PFL, to work for for Ray, for all these PFL guys, and and be in the, the new platform, different atmosphere, different people, and and new challenges, different challenges, and that that's why I'm over here. That's why I'm back, and and I'm back for good, and I'm happy, and the more important. I am ready. I love it. Um, can I ask you, when you, when you announced your retirement at the time, was there a part of you that thought, okay, maybe I just really need time off and I will come back? Or did you think, like, had we spoken at that time, did you think, like, this is it, I'm never going to fight again, I'm officially done? Man, fighting, I, I didn't know, you know. I, I, I was in a bad spot, even mentally and, and like, man, things were not just not going my way, you know. I had fights in my hand and I just let it slip it. And, but, but man, I know I, I have the talent. I know I have the skills. And, but, but man, I, I, I didn't feel like UFC anymore, you know? And, and for the UFC, I felt like never, any, not anymore. And okay. the opportunity for, for PFL or for other organization, I didn't think about. I, I end up thinking later. Okay. And, and I'm thankful for Ray Sefo for the opportunity and for the talks and for the, he put in my mind, you know, that, that I have the skills and, and that I can compete with the best in the world and and might not be it, you know. I have a lot left in me and I see these guys now and man, I'm excited again. I see I supposed to fight Shane Burgos. It's a big name. He was in the UFC too. That's other names like Shamo, like uh the the Brandons and uh, Baba Jenkins and all the, the all good fighters in, in the PFL, you know, and and at some point we when we're not in the UFC, we think oh UFC, 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 and then when you're in the UFC, you're like man, the world's not just the UFC, right. you know, the, the the MMA is bigger than UFC, and we have to put in our mind because sometimes people complain, ah, oh, I fight MMA, but people say, oh, do you do UFC? Yeah. But sometimes we the fighters we do that. Because we want UFC, we want UFC, but fighting, it's, 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 I am a martial artist, you know, right. and I'm going to compete anywhere and I'm going to be happy doing that. doesn't matter for who else. Overall, how would you describe your time in the UFC? It was good, you know, I have no complaints about anyone, you know, of course we have problems, have people I hate, that people yeah. that hate me in the UFC. Who but can hate you? I don't know, man. Why? But, but life. You're the nicest guy on the planet. Yeah, but life, life, it's it's like that, yeah. you know. 
But man, I'm the nicest guy, but that's people in the UFC I don't like. And that's people in the UFC, they don't like me. But man. Who are I, they? Let's name names. I don't, Who are these oh, bad people? Man, I mean, I, I I'm going to go, go to Las Vegas right now and beat them up. I know you will. Yeah. I know you will. <laughs> but man, it is what it is. I, I, I have a, my family always support me, my friends. And I mean, I'm excited again. And I can't wait to compete and show to everyone that I'm still there. So, like, you know, obviously the last few fights in the UFC didn't go your way. After the last one, the fourth one, for you, are you starting to think, like, what is going on? You know, because you had this role where you were looking invincible. How do you even come to terms with that? What, like, what is going on in here? Can you bring us inside your head? It's, when you come back home and you're like, what is going on here? How do I? Man, I have to, I have to think, like, it's fighting, it's timing, you know? And I kind of lost the timing a little bit. But, man, I, I know I have to get myself back in the, the fighting. My brain got to be in there, you know, and, and I kind of let it sleep a little bit and I lost the momentum. And, man, this, this next fight, I'm not saying I have the pressure on me to do that, but I have to be smarter. You mm. know? I have to let it go and use the momentum and I have to dominate because if I'm domi dominant, I'm not gonna be exposed, you know? And I, I felt like, and, and I, I made too, too, mu too much mistakes and that, that I, wasn't, I wasn't making before. And my timing is back. I feel that training, you know, I, I don't feel, I, I feel as strong as any 45 in the gym. And I see that every day, you know, I'm, I'm challenging myself every day and I just can't wait to compete and, and taste that. 145 competition, you know, I think I'm going to be much better. Any, any concerns at all about your health? No, man, not about the health. I just, I just think at 45, I'm healthier. Mm. I'm not killing myself, Cut cutting weight. weight. Yeah. I was sucking myself too much. I was doing things that I didn't realize. I just realized now, because like now I'm not doing anymore, like sauna every day, you know, like Bad. getting myself down in weight and I still got to get myself down more, you know? And it's, it's hard to manage how, how many pounds it's healthy to cut, you know. You must feel amazing now, right? Yeah, I feel like great. Like two days before the fight? Yeah, I feel great. How, can I ask how much you have to lose? I have to lose a few pounds. A few pounds, but it's not like Maybe. you're sucking yourself no, dry. And... Six pounds. Okay, but it should I, be easy. I won't see sauna or jacuzzi, you know. I don't need that. Okay. Just training and thinking, fighting, you know being smart and I still have my brain. I, two weeks from the fight, I, I couldn't think, I couldn't defend because the, the, the reflex are slower, you know, but now I, I feel the same. Can I ask, uh, one thing I, I was wondering about, you had such great success with Mark Henry, but now you're no longer with Mark Henry. Did you think about maybe getting the band back together and, and uh, working with him again? Man, I would love to, man. Mark is, is, is like one of my best friends. Yeah, he loves you. Like he, the way he speaks about you is like his son. The, He's one of the best gifts I got in MMA, you know, and, and his friendship and him and Frankie, and uh, we have a great bond. The problem is just I'm there, down there, you know, and the family, you have family, you know yeah. how it is, you know, and he has a family. He has a successful Pizza, business. Yeah. His Pino Pizza is killing man. Right. And used to be tiny, now yeah, it's huge. like a shopping yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we love each other. We talk fighting all the time. Okay, you I, still speak? Of course, all okay, the time. Great. He's one of my best friends. I love Mark, you know, and if I know if I need anything, I call him and he's going to So it wasn't like a personal thing. It was just because you never, moved never. to Florida. And you, never, never, yeah. never. Okay. So now as far as getting in with PFL, did they, did Ray call you first? We, we kind of got in touch, you okay. know. Because you had a relationship with him yes. from WSOF yeah, days. We are, you were we, one of the faces yeah, of the Yeah, promotion. we have great relationship. I am a big fan of Ray. I used to play video game with Ray. Okay. From Which back video in game? Days. Uh, PlayStation 1. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is old school. Yeah. Brazil, man. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, right. If I was in Brazil, I was still in the Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Uh, so, okay. So, he, re you stay in touch. Yeah, we're always in touch. We're always talking with each other. And we just, the, the, the talk just came up. And, man, I think at 45, you're going to look great, you know. And why not? You know, you're still young. And let's go. What were you doing? Like, like when you when you retired? Training. You were you still trained? I was training. But what were you going to do? Because you're still a young guy. Yeah, I was So were training. you thinking about like what? How am I going to provide? What am I going to do next? Like, what was your your new occupation going to be? 
I was I was just thinking what I was gonna do, you know. But that's you hadn't decided yet. Not yet. Okay. I, I have few options. Okay, some business you know. stuff. Yeah, Were you going to stay in MMA, coach, something like that? No, never. You don't want to be coach? No, I don't Why not? Coach. I don't like it. Why? Hard to work with fighters, man. Uh, you think everyone is like Malo, no. No, no, no. no, no what do no. you mean? They're, like, they're tough. It's hard to, deal with the, hard to deal with the fighters. That's no, um, that's no loyalty anymore, man. I know Especially about that. Especially in, in MMA. And everybody that loses, they try to blame on the coach. But no man. loyalty in life. I feel like everyone's yes, disloyal. Yes, I mean, and, it's and crazy. you lose, it's your coach fault. You lose, you move your camp. You know, it's it's not like this. You are the one inside the cage. You are the one competing, you know. You are the one that make the, 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 the final decision. So we have to take responsibility. And people don't do that. And people not just, I just, I would love to work with kids, teach kids. Uh lessons, martial arts, yeah. bring them to martial arts. But at some point, if you were competing, you're going to big stage, you move it on because that's not what I, I you want. You would be a great uh, children's teacher. Yeah, I would love to. Have you I, thought about I, that? When I moved to U.S., I used to teach. In ah, gym. yeah, because you have the perfect and demeanor for that. I love I loved the kids. That's how I learn English with the kids. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Coach, no, <laughs> no hip, no hip, coach, re hip, hip. Uh, <laughs> do your kids train? My my oldest trained, my youngest not yet. How old is your oldest? My oldest eight, but he loves soccer. He's uh, like crazy now with the World Cup yeah. texting me, oh daddy, that was go. I'm very excited. My team, Canada, today. Yeah, you Davis two o'clock. Davis is good, bro. You like this guy? David, Jonathan David and Alfonso Davis. You guys can do really well. We're playing Belgium at two o'clock. I know, I know, but they are they are kinda older now, you know. You think we have a chance? Yes. Really? Yeah, you guys are tough. A lot of upsets. You tough. see yesterday, Argentina. Canadian guys run like crazy, bro. I know. Marlon, you know how excited I am? The, Canada's only been in the World Cup once, ever. 1986, I was four years old. I don't remember. Sorry for you, man. But this is exciting because we have a good team. I know. Croatia tough tied team, today. Big guys, you know. You, I was on a car with my coach right now, and I said, uh, Coach, if I'm playing against Neymar, I'm the coach from the other team. I'm going to get one guy, I'm going to have this guy. Man, you're going to walk with this guy on the field. Everywhere he goes, you right. go with him. Shadow him. Man, who who can do that? You know, a good coach with a strategy, you can win a World Cup like that, being wow. tough. Have you been watching so, or are you, are you... Every day. Every day. Every day, Did yeah. you watch yesterday Argentina? Yeah, I, I did and it was too early. It was early, 5 a.m. Yeah, too early. Yeah. But, I, but I, my son texted me, Daddy, Argentina lost. But Messi scores. He yeah. loves Messi. That's his favorite? Yeah. All the kids like Rafael, my son, he likes Messi. He likes Neymar. Neymar. He likes Gabigol. He likes Pedro. It, but his favorite team is Brazil, obviously, Brazil, right? Yes. Was he born in Brazil or in the States? He was born in the States. In the States. Wow. So he doesn't like the U.S. team? He liked both. Okay. He, both. he has a lot of favorites. Yeah. He, he won every, whatever is going to win, he's going to be the one. <laughs> what, what do you think of uh, Brazil's chances? Are good, man. Yeah. Pretty good this year, yeah. But it's not easy, man. I saw yesterday, um, yesterday, no, um, day before, England stopped. England, yeah. Oof, Spain now is 3 0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brazil's tomorrow, know. right? Brazil's tomorrow, 2, 2 p.m. Yes. Wow, it's so exciting. Yeah, tough game. We're playing against Serbia. Could it be an answer, they'll, man? They'll be okay. But there's a weird thing going on where I feel like the, the old, like the more established teams, the older guys, maybe because it was in season, they're a little banged up. They're losing. Japan beating uh, Germany. You saw that? Just yeah, before. Yeah, so, just, just today. Crazy. Marlon, you've given me some hope. Speed cues, man. I'm very nervous about this. But now you've given me hope. Yeah, no, you guys can do well, man. Okay. You guys can do well. Hopefully, the Bruin don't play. <laughs> I know. Well, I think he is going to play. Good. He's good. Do so you follow this very closely? Yeah. What, what's your favorite club team? Club? Flamengo yeah. from my town. From, from uh, Brazil. Brazil. From okay. Brazil, from Rio. You follow. What about it? Uh, do you watch Premier League? Yes. Who's your favorite? Premier League... I used to like more Manchester, but now I like Liverpool. Cause, but Mane is not there anymore. I like Mane and okay. I like Salah. Ah, uh, Salah, yes. Salah is Egyptian, amazing. yeah. Amazing. Not in the World Cup. No. We like uh, Nottingham Forest. You see Nottingham Forest? That's my team. From Canada? My no, Nottingham Forest. They're in Premier League. Oh really? Yeah. Are they in Premier League now? No, they're they're bottom. But uh, we were in Premier League. First time in twenty three years. My friend, my friend was playing in Canada. Canada. For MLS? Yeah, for the league in Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah. Name. Canadian Premier League. Canadian Premier League. CPL. Premier league, yeah. I, Which he city? Was in, uh, I fought their Edmonton team. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They just closed. Yeah. Did you hear? No. This week they shut down. Oh, 
So he's out of a job. <laughs> yeah, he's going to find another one. Wow. Yeah. That was your, your friend played for them. Yeah, I have. A, I played soccer you growing did? up. So I played with one of these guys. He he was in, in Grêmio, Flamengo, and now he was playing Edmonton. Okay. And I have another friend uh, from my neighborhood, uh, Wellington. He played in North Carolina. Wow. And... and N N S C N S C A right? Yeah, uh, N A S L. N A S L. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what, what, did you try to go down the soccer path when you were younger? I did. I did a little bit. And how far did you get? Uh, I get like fifteen years old. I I I play in the uh, states. Yeah. And then after that, the, the next year I was young, so they put me on the bench, and I said I don't want to do this. Anymore. this. I don't want to be on a bench. So you came from Brazil to the states to play soccer originally. Me? Yeah. No, 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 no. No. I play in the states in, in Rio. Oh, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. sorry. Okay, okay, okay. And what position? In in the state of Rio, I play uh, um, in in the right side. How, how right wing? Right wing? Right wing? I have a theory that all you guys like Jose Aldo, even Kenny Florin, you guys with yeah, the but Jose Aldo didn't play like I did. You were better. Yeah, I got. Wow. I got the the. the, the the you were higher because we always talk about Jose Aldo. That yeah, he was so because good. he's he's the biggest name, you know. Yeah. But he he was good. He but one play. on one, you killed Jose Aldo. He could not play with me. He can't hang no. with you. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Yeah, but the, all respect, I'm not saying. Of course, of course. It's a legend. Do you think he'll fight again? Him? I don't. I don't think so. No, not even no. boxing. No, I don't think so. Did you watch Anderson? Yes. What do you think of that? Against Jake Paul. I feel bad for Anderson, man. You felt but bad? I knew it was a tough fight. Why'd you feel bad? Ah, because lose to him, you know, like... You don't like that guy? Such a legend, man. The, yeah. the sport lose to... He did pretty well, though, I thought. Yeah, he, he did. He moves well. I think he could win. He, just, he got dropped in the yeah, last he, round. Yeah, that one was... Why? You didn't like it? Big punch. Yeah. I, I like Anderson. I don't want to see Anderson losing I to... I know. What YouTuber. a legend. 47 still doing this? Moving like that, looking like him, he doesn't look out of shape. He looks amazing, no, he right? Does, he don't crack. I mean, you see his face. It's amazing. He still looks like the same looks guy from like ten years, years ago. Old. I know. It's crazy. What do you think of all this? Did you consider any of this stuff? You know, these these boxing mag we saw Vitor do it. Guys going over to box. Did you consider that when you were thinking about what you were doing? When next? I was up here with Mark, he always tells me, "Man, you have to do boxing. Yeah. You have to do boxing." I don't know. Maybe one day. We never know. You know. I can't say no. I love to compete. And why not try and see how it is, you know? But right now, I'm in the PFL, and yeah. I'm looking forward to my fight, win my fight, and fight next season. Did uh, anyone else reach out to you other than PFL? Were you considering anything else, or was it just PFL when you left UFC? I didn't want to talk, but that's some some people. Some people reached out. They talk with me, but I didn't want to. I wasn't prepared. Because, man, I, I don't want to fight for anyone. you got to be some special, like like it was. Yeah. I want to fight for Ray, you know. I want to fight for BFL. Is that is that part of the appeal here? Like you're familiar with them. You you essentially came from this organization. It's it's a, it's a lot of the same people, right? I want to more... give it back to yeah. you know, like it's like give back to the fans, man. These fans are are amazing, and we, we want to bring more fans to the BFL. And this is such a great show, man. The way they do every single one that step to the tournament have the chance to win a million dollars and yeah. be a champion in the season. It's not like I'm gonna pick this guy because he sells pay-per-view, because his hair color is gray, because right. he's he jokes around, he has 10 million followers on Instagram, on Twitter. It's if you are better on the season, you're gonna win. Right. You know, that's that's all about fighting. It's the UFC one. That's how it was. Sure, the tournament. Nowadays, everything changed. I see guys that like Tony Ferguson, all oh, his career fighting, fighting, winning, winning, winning. He didn't get the belt. Right. He won, but entering, you know, he didn't get the shot. How? And guys go there, two, three fights, and fight for right. the belt. Look at, uh, you know, fellow countryman Alex Pereira only had to fight three times. Yeah, all respect, respect to him. Respect, but it's you know, different, right? But it's different. We see guys in the UFC now. I'm going to think one guy that I think he's very good fighter. He fights at 45. He's a British guy. How many, guy, how many fights that guy got? Oh, Arnold Allen. He's still not still fight nothing. for the belt. Ten in a row. Ten in a row in yeah. the UFC. And didn't even get the interim. No, that guy's a beast. And they're doing interim title fight. He's not getting it. That guy's a beast. I love to watch that guy, man. And he still didn't fight for the belt. It's crazy. Yair is fighting for the belt. Right. Yair and... Um, Josh Emmett. Josh Emmett. Do you watch UFC still? Yeah. Still I, fan? I do. Despite I do. the fact, yeah. I watch the, the, 
the main fights. The big ones. Yeah, that's a long time I don't watch all the fights. You, you took know? a break when you left? No, no, no. No? You're still a fan of the sport? Yes. I always, I will always, man, I used to be a kid sitting with my friends like... 5 a.m. to watch Pride. Right, wow. And that's how I grow up, watching wow. Pride, watching Minotauro, Anderson, later on, Aldo, WEC. And I, I, I'm going to be honest, I start to watch Pride. First. UFC wasn't in Brazil like it's now. Wow. And then when Aldo went to WEC, I start to watch WEC. And then later on, I traveled to England and I was seated with a friend and he said, man, that guy's really good. And I think he can win. And I look at the, you know who was? Frankie, Frankie fighting Sean Shark. Oh, wow. And then I said, man, he's kind of little. I think I can do that too. And then I saw oh, 55 now, 55 is too much for me. And that was one of the first UFC that I start to watch, Frankie Edgar and Sean yeah. Shark. So how, how did you even link up with those guys? Like, how did you end with up? With Frankie yeah, and Mark. Frank, like, how'd you Edson, end up in... Edson came first. Uh, yeah. Frankie had a fight with Ben Henderson. Edson brought me on his bag. Wow. And then I ended up getting... And at that point, like, you were kind of trying to find yourself in the sport, right? Mm -hmm, you, you, mm -hmm. Your record wasn't great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you yeah, it turned yeah. everything around for you. Mm -hmm. And so you went there and you, all of a sudden you were like, I like it here, I'm going to stay here? Yeah, I went there and I had a sparring with Ali. <laughs> really? And then I did really good in sparring. You sparred Ali? Yeah. In boxing or in... No, uh, MMA. Ali was an MMA fighter. Yeah, I know. I just didn't know. And uh, we sparred and then he said, man, I have a... I think I have an opportunity for you. They are looking for an opponent for Miguel Torres. And yes. that's how I end up in the World Series of Fighting. number one or two? World Series of Fighting one or two? Was World that, Series of Fighting one. That was the first one, huh? Number one. Unbelievable. That is crazy. What a story. Yeah, now, now we are probably, back. they have probably a hundred shows, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. With PFL, PFL as well. And everything. Yeah. yeah. Come up to and uh, do you think they're number two over Bellator right now? Right now? No. Right now I think UFC number one, Bellator two and PFL three. No, I disagree with you. You think so? No, I want you to say that so that your bosses don't get angry. I thought for sure you were going to say PFL two. In my heart, yeah. for me, yeah. we are going to get there. Yeah. But, I think you can make a case for you can, guys right now. We to be can honest. we can relax yeah. and think we are number two. We have to keep doing. Me as a fighter, I have to get in there Friday night, put on a show, and make people wow, what just happened? Kayla, uh Dilano Taylor, Sad Busi, mm -hmm. uh Brandon. Yeah. You know, we all that's all on, on our hands. Six main card fights and and uh, no, six championship and six undercard bouts uh, imagine it 12 finishes 12 highlights and everyone talking about all million dollars on the line who does it did bellato ever did that no that's no what i'm saying so that's how we're gonna get there okay but we can relax and think we are there we are getting there and we will uh and and, and for you what did you sign like a one-year deal how does this work are you gonna be in the tournament next year i'm in a tournament next okay. year. okay 45 yes okay so this is just like a one-off yes and then next year you're yes. a part of the tournament is grueling yes grueling. I mean, but like, not for me i'm not cutting yeah. that much weight you don't get big nah I'm, I'm big for me it's not big for these guys right 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 Big for them is like 70, 75. Big for me, 60, 62. So, so the 45 uh, tournament is um, Brendan and uh, Bubba Jenkins, Brandon right? Brendan and Bubba Jenkins. Who do you think wins that? Tough matchup, man. Yeah. Bubba looked good in his last fight. I, love, I know Brendan and Bubba too. I see them fighting before. I see Brendan's last fights, you know, and I think if... if it more longer goes, I think it's gonna be better for Brandon. But I just, I just, I just want to see how it's gonna be Baba wrestling against Brandon. Right, right. He could dominate too. Right. Yeah, I mean Brandon has come a long way. I was really impressed with Baba in his last fight. I thought that was one of his best his performances. Hands look good too. Yeah, everything looked good. He went for the finish. He did Tough get the guy, finish. Guy, man, improving, getting better as the game goes. You know. What about Kayla? You think she sticks around? She she's about to get the get the, the, the big status money, yeah. of the big fight, yeah. you know, and I, I see PFL able to, to do that. Kayla I, versus Chris Cyborg. Yeah. PFL. Yeah. PFL super fight. Why not? 
if if Cyborg want the big fight, the big money, she got to come in. Right. Kayla versus Amanda Nunes. Yeah, could be a big fight. I just <laughs> don't know if Amanda will come to 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 PFL. No, maybe she goes to yeah, maybe she has to go to UFC for that one, right? Yeah, we're not letting Kayla leave. You're not. Oh, I like no, it. Not. You're we. You say we're we not. when you talk. We're not. Do you think this is it for you? Your last promotion? Do you want to retire with PFL? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. We'll see. How much longer do you want to go for? I don't know, man. You haven't thought of that. It's all about the performances, sure. the, the the fights and the momentums, and let just let's go. Now that you've tasted retirement life a little bit, would you like to see something for the fight? You know, like Frankie now, right? Frankie gave so much to the sport, right? Legend, Hall of Famer, right? I personally think he deserved better than what happened a couple of weeks ago. Like I, I would have liked a different matchup for him. But anyway, now he's done. There should be like a retirement fund. There should be a pension for these guys who put their lives on the line, who gave us so many great fights. Don't you think there should be that for the fighters? Yeah, yeah I think so. And for a guy like Frankie, yes, man, what a fighter, man. What a legend. He deserves you know? it more as much as anyone. Man, I was in Brazil in a barbecue watching UFC, Frankie Edgar and BJ Penn. And I was BJ Penn fan. Wow. The because first the, one or the second? Because the short, yeah, yeah. the style, the way he does. And I, I am still BJ Penn fan. Who doesn't like BJ? Sure. And man, I was watching the fight. This, this guy going to win. So this is the first one? Yeah, the first one. Yeah. And bro, the way this guy figured it out and the way he fights and the, the weight he fought, the weights, the f opponents, the amount of wars, never give up moments. Legend, man. Legend. I think he's hanging at, in my opinion, one of the best fighters ever. Agreed. 100%. MMA. Because it's not just because the skills and what he did, because, man, how he did. Right. At the, the 155, you know. He was able to use your strength against yourself because right. he didn't have that power to compete with Ben Henderson, with th those big guys. But smart guy, man. Unbelievable. The, and especially like over time when you look at the side that he finished his career at 35 and he was fighting big 55ers. You know what I mean? Like Henderson could fight at 70 and he's a 35er. It's really incredible. You still speak to him? You still in yeah, contact? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing okay? Still okay, yes. Yeah. I hated the way it ended. He deserved much better than that. He deserved... Yeah, uh, but like he said, you know, that's, that's fighting, That's the man. game, I know. We've been there, we've been here, and now sometimes we go down, but we can't forget the good things we did. And for a guy like Frankie, me as a fighter, you know, I, that's a guy I look up to. A lot of people don't fight. They don't know how it is. But me, as a fighter, you as a reporter, as a guy that respects everyone, you are all the time with us. You know, you know how you never felt, but you, you kind of, man, you, you have friends in this. You yeah. know, you know that people that give all for the sport. And man, he, he has no idea how much he represents guys like us. Oh, yeah. You know, and I think that's all matter, man. That's those fans that, ah, he got knocked out, da, 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 he's done, he's done. These guys, they're going to just keep coming, on, going. Yeah. But the real fans, the real people that know about the sport, that guy's alive. It made me emotional. I can't even imagine what it was like for you. Really, really hard, man, to see him going out that way. But, you know, I'm going to be with him. doesn't matter the war he's facing. I'm, I'm at his side. He's coming to the fight? Yes, hopefully. He's going to be there. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Henzo too? Henzo, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. We well, rocking the jacket. Henzo's everywhere. He's right? all over the place, that guy. Well, I'm very excited about this. And for you, you get to, you know, I think it's a great opportunity for you because not only are you back with familiar people at PFL, World Series of Fighting, but a guy you beat, right? So there's some familiarity yes. there. When you got the word that it was uh, Shaman who you'd be fighting as opposed to um, Burgos, were you happy about that? No. No. I want that big fight, you, wanted, you know? So were you bummed? Were you like, oh, I already climbed this mountain? I don't really... Yeah, we were working for him, you know? We had all set up for him. Yeah. And, man, yeah, I want to I wanna show to everyone that what a 35er can do with a 45er, you know? And I compete with the best in the world, in the, my opinion, the best division in the world, 135-pounder. I've seen it all from these guys, you know? And... I just, of course, Shane is a tall guy, you know, he got that volume, the boxing and everything, but I just think I can beat him. 
do you feel like it's going to be a similar fight the way it you know, went down seven years ago, or do you think it's going to be a different kind of fight? The, this fight with Chema? Yeah. I think it's going to be a similar fight. I'm prepared for anything. And, and yeah, I want to I wanna dominate this fight. I want to take over, take control, and win. Get this win, then you go into the tournament. Next this year, time next year, yes. yes. Million dollars. Yes, that's, Easy. that's where's my eyes. My eyes are there. I love it. But I have to say, because it's a million dollars, but put that win, yeah. put the win strike. Sure, one win, at a time. Few fights, yeah. it's, it's the taste of the win for me is much, make me feel much better than the money. Sure. Much better. You miss that a lot taste. of people keep saying, ah, oh, I'm here for the money, for the bag of money, the money, the money, the money. Forget about the money, man. I want to win. I want to put on a show. And that that's it. That's I'm getting paid, you know, and to do what I love. I love it. Well, so good to see you again, my friend. So good to talk. Thank I've you. missed talking so to, to you. Talk with you too. Welcome back. Uh, I was sad when I saw that you were uh, going to walk away, but very happy to see that you are back. And I, and I love this partnership with the uh, PFL because it feels like you're you're back home, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And I think that will do good for you. So you're in the right place. And I wish you the best on Friday at the Hulu Theater. It's going to be great, my friend. Thank, Thank you for you coming Thank you so in, much, Marlon. man. All the best. My to you, pleasure. My love, you always love have a home. that Canadian. Thank you.